squash it. Smell it. Spicy, or at least it's fragrant. Now, leaves are falling off, right? But the, the twigs, the twigs, even dead twigs, same smell. So you will have the smell. So to go back over, look. As soon as you have eliminated, okay, this is not poison ivy. Okay? It's all game. It's all game. There's nothing that's going to hurt you. Chew on it. Smell it. You've seen now. Cut into the bark. Again, what you're looking for is going from bewilderment to a eureka moment. Meaning, eureka! It's spice bush. It's hard to miss the, the glossy red fruits. Okay? Uh, which are also really, really spicy, uh, even stronger, probably stronger than the other parts. They used to dry those and grind them up and use them to flavor things. It is a bush. That's a really big one. That's why I come here. Most will be shorter than that. It's going to be in real moist areas and something that's going to be very handy for you guys in a little bit. The leaves turn really lemon yellow and that's going to be happening but then they're going to fall off too. Then you want to look at the twigs. And the twigs, I'm going to get one here and we can pass it down the line. I'm going to pull the leaves off because they're going to be gone. You will notice little round green buds look like, well, they're smaller than a BB. So you want to look for these round little flower buds in pairs, sometimes single ones. And notice that the twig itself is a neat kind of olive green color. And I guess I would say the twig will smell. The bark, it gets very speckled. Is that big one kind of got dots in the bark? Yeah. 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 Oh, very good. Okay. In fact, when they get bigger, they almost get more obvious. So this is this is kind of a medium size one here. Uh, and it's all very, very speckled. If you scratched even in the bark, it's going to smell. It's in the same family as sassafras, Lauraceae. That should make sense, right? 